tastes like water. <laughs> You've got to keep going. What You've got curdle? To, it'll curdle. You've got to keep mixing it fast, 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 or it'll turn into lumpy cottage cheese. You mean possesso. So what's after this? Oh, the baking soda, right? So now you need to get your fingers in there and start getting it into a ball. Oh, oh! You use your fingers now. I'm not going to use my fingers yet. And then when you've got it all into a nice, the more you handle it, the more it'll go into a nice ball. Yeah. And then you can put it in your Ziploc bag. Yes, very gooey. Oh, this is so cool. This is the first time in like a million years that I've had slime in a while. It's so cool. You need to try and use it to pick up all the bits in the bowl so you're not wasting it. Oh great, now it's back to me. I don't want to touch the slime anymore. Okay, we'll try and get as much off your fingers as you can. Now you've got a lot, a little zip seal bag there and you can put your slime into your Ziploc bag. Okay, I... She's struggling, she's struggling. I can see that there's more on her than there is in the bag at this point. Help me! No! No, 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 help no, 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 this is, this is, this is all part of the job. I need help. <laughs> so hard! Okay, can I wash my hands now? Yes, go wash your hands. <laughs> You're getting there. You are getting there. Try just like rolling your hands like that and rubbing it all down to one area. Right, my girls. I want you to each take one of those without spilling it. Done. Hold it over your bowl. We're going to do caresses first. We're going to hold it over your bowl. Okay. Hold it. Hold it. Yours. Okay. What is this? <coughs> oh my gosh. So that is what happens when you're mixing acid and alkali. Vigine vinegar is acetic acid and alkali is the baking soda. Hey, and when they mix together, they make a chemical reaction that causes all the bubbles. Right, so I'm going to take these and wash them up now. Luckily we did it in a very small test tube so it didn't go all over the place because when you do it in a big, big pot you get masses of bubbles. We're going to leave these eggs. As you can see, this egg here, look, all the, ooh, all the shell. shell is like the skin on the shell, the brown colour on the egg is all coming off. So that's promising. I'm going to try and find some more vinegar to put on this one. No, but you flip it over when it's done. Well, yeah, I can, but the thing is it will take a lot longer because only half the egg is in the mixture. Now, the slime is quite interesting because the thing that makes the slime work... Is activator. Well, the, and what do you think the activator is made out of? Water. Borax. Borax is exactly the same chemical that we're using to make the crystals. Okay? So that's quite interesting, which is why we bought this borax in the first place. And this is called sodium tetraborite. So you're using real chemicals. Okay, so that's pretty cool, huh? Yours will be growing. Oh, look, can you see it's all got big and fluffier already? And yours? Why? Oh, starting to get blue crystals on it already. It is real, it's crystals. We're growing crystals. Drill. Okay, I think we finished experimenting for now. Um, I knew the slime was going to be messy, but hey, there you go. They've made some very pretty slime. So we have pink slime. Sarah, and we out. have blue, blue, very, very sparkly slime. Sarah, okay. Okay. Good morning. It's the Crafty Nana. It's another beautiful sunny day in Malaysia. And we're going to check our experiments from last night. Tilly is here. She cannot wait to find out how our experiments went. So, pull it up. Let's have a look. Oh, 
it's looking quite good but we could do just not see quite so much of the of the pink um, so what we're going to do is we'll probably give the mixture a little bit of a stir up get those crystals into the mixture a bit more we might even have to warm it up so that we break the um, borax down into the mixture again and then um, it can do some more grain right get get Keris's let's have a look at hers right take it out oh that's a very pretty pretty pale lavender isn't it that's very nice very nice well, I think she'll be happy with that you know what's next um, maybe we ought to just do it with our fingers Ooh, it's a bit slimy isn't it let's pop it into this empty bowl here well that's still feel I feel that side needs to go back in let's have a look at this one I think there's still definitely some eggshell on there but not it's very very about very squishy I mean very um bouncy and there's a little bit of shell still on some of it, like that shell there. Oh! You just squeezed it to death. I didn't. I just lifted up that bit of shell and the yolk well, that's actually kind of popped cool. out. Oh dear, look at that. So we've got the shell already sort of turned soft, look. We'll leave this one in and we'll chuck that one away but interesting experiment anyway because as you can see it's gone from being a hard shell to being a leathery soft shell and presumably you could bounce that but if it bounced and oh, cracked open like that just did that would be very 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 messy okay so that is the update on our experiments crafty nana just ruined the egg experiment don't poke it you can feel it with your fingers, so you can feel what it's the texture's like, but if you poke it with a stick, you won't realise how hard you're poking it. Um, give it about, give it another bounce with your finger, so you can see how, this. no, the, the, the egg. Wow. So squishy. It is very squishy. Squishy, squishy, which is the whole point of the exercise. And as you can see, all the, um, it's, oop, it's sort of squishy all over. But we're going to leave that one a bit longer, because obviously I wreck that one. We're happy with our crystals um, and we're going to leave them a bit longer because obviously the longer you leave them the bigger they get. So that's an update. Mm -hmm.